The Arizona Backcountry Discovery Route stretches 750 miles from the Mexican border to Utah. Along the way, you take in beautiful desert mountains, epic views from the Mugian Rim, and even ancient volcanoes of the San Francisco Peaks. Last winter, my wife and I completed section two of the route, starting in the warm of Tucson and heading into the snowy mountains outside of Globe. Following Overland Expo West, I was just west of the route in Phoenix, ready to pick her up from the airport to continue our adventure. I am just outside of Phoenix, Arizona, probably about a 30 minute drive. I was also supposed to be picking up my wife in Phoenix, uh, but unfortunately she had to cancel her flight. Uh, she took on another couple of clients at work and she's not feeling good, so she figured the flight wasn't worth the risk. And then the risk of being out of service uh, and not being able to work was too much too. So I got back on Onyx and I found myself another route to go. I've got the Four Peaks Trail and this is actually one of those featured trails on there so I'm going to be checking that out and heading over towards uh, I think it's the Arizona Backcountry Discovery Route and basically picking that up where I left off last winter. What a spot, and to think I actually almost didn't come up here. I was setting up camp further down in the valley next to a dried up wash when I noticed that the trees next to the camp had branches in from, I guess, a recent flash flood. And I don't know what the weather's gonna be like here, but I see big storm clouds off in the distance. I decided I'd move on, and I think I made the right choice because this is a fantastic spot. With the exception of a little bit of trash and a couple of bugs, it's great. I did clean up as much of the trash as I could, certainly the worst of it, uh, but I have filled up my trash for already. So unfortunately I did the best I can, but there's still a little bit of trash up here. I'm glad I spotted that and didn't run it over because I don't know if my stock skid plate's gonna handle it. That is a monster. At the top of the Four Peaks Trail is an abandoned microwave tower. 
These towers are scattered across the US and were first used around 70 years ago for telephone and television transmissions between cities. With the increased use of fiber and satellite communications, the towers became redundant and were sold off or scrapped. That was a great trail over the mountains. I really enjoyed that, fantastic views the whole way. And of course, I wouldn't have found it. I wouldn't even known it existed if it wasn't for Onyx Off-Road. So the, the, the credit goes to them for that one. Um, I'm now down back on pavement, uh, and I'm gonna go about 20, 30 miles that way to pick up the Arizona Backcountry Discovery Route and uh, picking up just north of Globe, which is where we finished off last winter. I only just missed this one because it was blending into the road. I had to swerve around it. I'm in Tonto National Forest and actually right on the border between Tonto and Apache National Forest which is just up to the north there and I found myself this nice little campsite just off the uh, backcountry discovery route but I'm actually going to stay here because right as I was about to get set up I looked in my bag and realized that I don't have any clean clothes so uh, I did a quick search and found a campground about 30 minutes down the road that has laundry facilities so I'm going to head up there and stay there tonight so that I can do my laundry. Tomorrow I'll come back down here and I'll continue the backcountry discovery route. supposed to be great views out here but uh, I can't really see much of anything occasionally there's a little break in the clouds and I can tell it's just basically a long way down um, but hopefully as we continue north it clears up and warms up because it's really cold it's right at the end of September and I was expecting Arizona to be a little warmer than this
things are getting more and more volcanic as we go and I think uh, making my way up towards the Cinder Hills area it's gonna get finer hopefully because it's pretty bumpy right now Things got smoother, but not in a good way. I'm out of the rocky area, but now I'm kind of on a boggy marshland, <laughs> just fighting my way through mud. I was actually a little worried back there. At one point I was gonna get stuck because the mud's really thick and, well, look how it's sticking to the tires. There's no sign of the tread now because it's just completely caked in mud. And uh, I guess I need to speed up and get some of that off. And uh, when I get where I'm going, I'm gonna have to give, give the foreigner a good wash. probably worth mentioning that if you are following my tracks that I upload to Patreon or if you're following the Arizona Backcountry Discovery Route, you do need a few permits. One of them is the Arizona State Lands Recreational Permit and then the other one is occasionally you end up passing through a ranch and you just need to pick up one of these. You basically sign in and drive through. Uh, I don't think the Backcountry Discovery Route goes through this one. I did take a slight detour just to get over this way a little quicker. But either way, make sure you read the signs that you pass and follow the instructions. Got set up for camp outside of Cinder Hills OHV area, which is a short distance from Flagstaff, and I think it's about to rain. The clouds are looking pretty dark, so I'm gonna try and set up my awning, but I don't know how well it's gonna stay out uh, because the ground here it's just it's like this little gravelly stuff. So I don't know how well my pegs are gonna work. I've got sand pegs, so I'll try them. Hopefully, it stays out okay, and hopefully, I can stay dry while cooking dinner. I've changed my mind. I'm hearing a lot of thunder, seeing a little bit of lightning, and the wind's really picking up. So I'm just gonna grab everything I need for sandwiches and go hide in my tent. And I'll see you all in the morning.
How about that for a view? You can see 360 degrees all directions, especially out that way. You can see for tens of miles off into the haze. Behind me, you've got the cinder cones. So fantastic spot. I think this is the highest spot in Cinder Hills OHV area. So if you're in the Flagstaff area, it's well worth coming out here for a visit. And uh, this is where I'm going to end the Arizona backcountry discovery route. Uh, from here on out, it basically goes through Navajo land, which you definitely need a permit for, and I believe that you cannot get that at the moment. I think it's all shut down. So from here, I'm actually going to go meet up with some friends in Salt Lake City. It is quite a long drive, but uh, I've been told the leaves are changing and it's worth it. It was a very long drive. By the time we all met up in Salt Lake City, the sun was setting, so we had to air down and make our way up the dusty trail in the dark. Hey, welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm Justin B. McBride. This is Revere Overland's setup. It's pretty cool. Have you seen my Jeep before? <laughs> You've got to see this thing. It's really pretty. Uh, you, should, you should come stop by the channel and see it. Come on, I talk about this. The other thing I talk a lot about are these. And I know it's kind of dark, but this is a Bronco. And I talk a lot about these, so, so come stop by. Come hang out. The next morning we woke up to incredible views across the valley, with the Great Salt Lake in the distance. There was plenty of time to enjoy it and fly the drones as we waited for Adam from Trail Rex to make his way up to meet us. Just as I exhausted my final drone battery, we spotted a trail of dust quickly making its way up the mountain. We were ready to go. On our way up to the final viewpoint, we came across a stranded truck in the road. When we asked if they needed any assistance, they told us it was a rebuilt vehicle and didn't have any of the original tools in it, so we offered to help. Unfortunately, it also didn't come with the tool used for the spare tire winch, so we tried to come up with an alternative. Yeah. Creativity. <laughs> okay. Despite our best efforts, we could not get their spare tire out. They managed to call a tow truck, and we continued on our way.
just getting everything out for lunch and I feel like I need to show you the setup that we've got here. Well, this is gonna be the end of the video and what a place to end. They got fantastic views in every single direction. Once again, Justin knocked it out of the park, so go check out his channel, Justin B. McBride. He knows a lot of the best spots around here. I think you guys in Salt Lake City are really lucky. You know, you got obviously the mountains up here, all the colors in the fall. You got the desert off in that direction, which is also really colorful. You got Idaho, Wyoming, all right here. So kind of jealous. Uh, as usual, this video would not have been possible without you guys watching, subscribing, and of course my Patreon supporters, they really help out and I appreciate everything they do. For this trip, I'm going to be sharing all of the tracks, the waypoints, you know, places like this, uh, a couple of campsites I passed along the way. That way, if you want to come out and see these places for yourself, you can. Thanks for watching.